I want to talk about this very interesting condition called burning mouth syndrome. There's not a lot known about it. It's very subjective. The person themselves is feeling this, but there's not very many objective findings. There's no test that can indicate that there's an underlying problem. It's very difficult to diagnose. They call it idiopathic, which means unknown cause. So when I see a situation where there's unknown cause, I like to try to pull a string and find out a little bit about it. And there are certain clues on what might be causing this condition, but if there is a subclinical nutritional deficiency, uh, it's going to be very difficult to diagnose that. But this is what they know. Uh, a good portion of people who have burning mouth syndrome are postmenopause. Okay. Now, what's unique about postmenopause? Well, you have low estrogen and you have very low progesterone. Okay, so we have those two things right there. And we also know postmenopausal women are at risk for a B12 deficiency. And we also know that a B12 deficiency can also correlate with a burning tongue, okay? And uh, also, if you're postmenopausal, you'll be at risk of B6. And I also found some additional research that shows that there's this association between a deficiency of vitamin B6 and burning mouth syndrome. I'll put that link down below. And so, in all the studies that I looked at, uh, the most common deficiencies that are found with burning mouth syndrome would be a B12 deficiency, a folic acid deficiency, a B6 deficiency, which by the way also B6 is necessary to increase progesterone. And so if you're really low on progesterone and you're using up all your B6, you could then become deficient in B6. Also they have found that a zinc deficiency can be associated with this condition too. And what's unique about that is during menopause, the adrenal glands back up the ovaries. So you, usually you have more cortisol stimulation and higher levels of cortisol will definitely cause a zinc deficiency. Not to mention another risk factor for burning mouth syndrome is diabetes. And when you're diabetic with all this glucose going through your bloodstream, you can easily become zinc deficient. And then the last correlation would be low estrogen, which you see in postmenopausal females. Now, another thing that may show up as well is you may have high homocysteine levels, which can be lowered by taking certain B vitamins like B12, B6, and even the mineral zinc. So if you have burning mouth syndrome, uh, your best bet would be to take B12, folic acid, B6, zinc, and of course, do whatever you can to help support your adrenals and support any type of blood sugar issues. So if you're new to my channel, I'm going to show you how to do that down below. Click the link down below to download your eating plan. Hey, before you leave, I just wanted to give you a little quick history on some of the books that I wrote. This was one of the first books. It's called Dr. Berg Body Shapes. It was my attempt at um, writing about body types. Uh, what was very interesting about this book is I actually did all the images myself. Uh, don't ask me why. Um, they look actually not quite as professional as some of the uh, images that I have in the new book. But anyway, this is my first attempt right here called Dr. Berg's Body Shape Diets. Uh, and then I wrote a book um, more extensive called The Seven Principles of Fat Burning. I don't even have a copy anymore, actually, um, because it's outdated. Uh, the next book, uh, I put about a thousand hours into this one right here called The New Body Type Guide, Major Updates on the Body Types. Uh, I put a lot of energy into this. Uh, it has professional images, graphics, all sorts of things. Now, the problem with this book is it doesn't really describe what this is really about. Body types are only a small portion of what's in this book. And that's why I changed the name to the Healthy Keto Plan, okay? If you happen to have this book, you don't really need this book because there's some only very, very minor updates. But if you don't have this, you need to get this one right here. Um, this book goes into every single detail that you would ever wanna know about. It goes into the seven principles of fat burning. It goes into hormones, uh, the body types, the basic keto plan. It goes into intermittent fasting. I talk about the 10 fat burning triggers and blockers and fat burning strategies with a lot of details in every single chapter. I go into body issues that interfere with losing weight. Um, there's very few people that just have a weight problem. They have a lot of body issues, whether it's sleeping problems, uh, stress problems, inflammation, 
menopause. I cover that extensively in this book. Then I talk about how to get rid of stress, and I show you a technique. Uh, then I get into exercising. And then I have a lot of really good recipes in this book as well. So uh, this is a good reference guide. Um, on my website, if you get this book, you get this one free. It's called Healthy Keto Intermittent Fasting. This is the shortcut, a uh, quick guide to this book. And uh, the reason I created this book is to have you within 45 minutes learn how to do keto, okay, in intermittent fasting, exactly what you need to do. Then you can fill in the blanks with this book right here. So right now I'm doing a special. If you get this book, you get this one totally free, or you can go to Amazon and get these individually. So I just want to clarify the difference between this book and this updated one right here. If you don't have this, you need to get this right here. That way you can get the exact correct information to do it healthily.